Good. Seth Lemon joins us live with the story. Seth. Yeah, guys, they are here. This is the very start of the emergence of those periodical cicadas, and they are coming out in the hundreds, maybe even the thousands right here in this backyard in North Brantford. Experts tell us that these are the brood two cicadas, and you can tell them, you can spot them by their bright red eyes. And the homeowners were shocked to say the least when they came out Monday night to find these unexpected visitors. I was seeing scattered ones on, on the deck you know, the last few days before that, but not to this extent, and then when we came out, there was, there was a lot. In the state of Connecticut, the cicadas are concentrated sort of in a band uh, here in Totokut Mountain, uh, Sleeping Giant up towards south of Hartford. So this is what typical habitat for them. Um, so you wouldn't, for example, see them in the middle of New Haven. All right, guys, so here are the cicadas. They are climbing up this tree. They're all over, and now they are climbing up me, too. Here's how it works. So the dark brown nymphs crawl out of the ground. They split their shell, and out pops the adult. They are whitish color. They'll spend several hours to a day tanning and pumping fluid into their wings until they become full adults. There's no concern for your yard. These guys are just going to stick around for about two weeks. The males sing. They mate with the females, and then the females lay their eggs, and those tiny nymphs that pop out crawl right back into the ground and spend another 17 years. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys off of me. So Lisa and Jerry, back to you. Oh, everyone in the newsroom is screaming. New guy, way to go. Do not bring one back. Not.